Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a recording that goes through the Z-Stack of a, an image. So I do have some objects that are here in the surpass scene. I can decide to use them and turn them on or just have them off. For the purpose of this animation, I'm going to have them off. So I'm in the 3D view and I'm going to enable animation. And what I want to do is make a Z-Stack that goes through the top to the bottom of the image. So to do that, I need to add a new ortho slicer. It's this icon at the top. I can have my slice orientation uh, be any of these different planes. I will do the XY plane so it's going through and showcasing the Z stack. I'm going to start at the very bottom slice position and you can see there's this yellow ball and arrow. For most animations you probably won't want that in your recording. So I'm just going to click on a different item in the surpass scene to turn off this yellow ball and arrow. So I can click on the volume button here and you can see that it disappears. Now if I want my whatever is in this black box is what the actual animation will look like. So I can make this larger by zooming in but I will want to make sure that when I go through the ortho slicer that everything stays in this black box. So if I'm at the top you can see that it does not fit in the box. The entire actual um, ortho slicer that's marked with this yellow line. So if I hit reset, this will bring it back into view. So I'm going to once again slide down to the bottom, or you could start at the top, whichever way you prefer, prefer. Select the volume to remove the yellow slicer ball and arrow, and then I'm going to add a keyframe. I want to start at the bottom of my ortho slicer, add a keyframe. So I'll go back to my ortho slicer, slide down and through the Z stack so I'm at the top of it. Once again, click on volume again to remove that ortho slicer and then add that final keyframe. This will go through the Z planes just one time from bottom to top. I can add more keyframes into my animation if I'm interested or I can leave it here. You'll see that my first keyframe is added here the second keyframe is here, and then I have a third keyframe that's here. I don't need to actually keep this final keyframe if I don't want it. I can just delete that one, and then uh, we can press this play sign and watch what my recording will be if I leave my animation exactly as it is here, just going through the Z stack one time. But whatever you have set up as your keyframes, Amaris will interpolate in between those. I can also control the settings for this recording. So I have a hundred frames here, and then this is the resolution of the animation that will be recorded. I can also select settings and change this. So I have a frame rate that is 20 frames per second. I can have my recording repeat forever, play just one time. There's all sorts of different settings you can have here. We'll leave it here, but once the recording is ready to go with the keyframe set up as I would like, I'll just hit the record button and it will quickly record the video moving through the keyframes and it will create either an MP4 or an AV, um, AVI file, whichever you would prefer in the save settings when you're selecting that record button. And then uh, I can watch that recording or place it into presentations, whatever I would like to do with it. And so this is what I generated just moving through the Z planes one at a time. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.